Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm outside Stanmore Station, the northern terminus of the Jubilee Line. Come up here today to go and see the friendliest deer herd I've ever come across in London, or anywhere else for that matter. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk up through the town centre, look at a couple of interesting sites on the way, and let's go and find this very, very friendly herd of deer. You can see how far we are from places with this rather nice vintage road sign. Just there is St John's Parish Church, the new church. Let's go inside and we'll see the old church and then we'll go on up to Bentley Priory. Here we are inside the parish church of St John's Stanmore. Now this is the newer church. I thought I'd quickly include this in the video because I wanted to show you something interesting outside. There's the old church which is ruined, but there's talk of unruining the old church, which um, I think is quite an interesting idea. I'm not sure if I like the idea or not, but I'll show that to you as we go outside. So we come out here. So that's the way we've come. And there is the old church. So we'll go over and have a look at that. And um, as I said, it's going to be interesting to see what they do. We can't actually go into the old church, but we can have a look at the old church from the outside. So here it is in front of us. And um, we'll be able to see inside in a minute. But as I said, we can't go inside, but we can look through the windows and have a look. So it's a big brick church. Um, so if they unruin it, they'll have to rebuild all of this wall and um, also inside right in the middle there's this mausoleum so I understand they're going to move that mausoleum over to one corner I'll put the camera through the bars let you have a look at the interior and um, you may be able to see how it looks like we're in prison now, we? into the tower so what we shall do we shall um, just have a wander around here so I'd like to go inside. So, you know, it'd be interesting to go inside. Even more interesting, you actually go up, up the, the tower. Quite a big buttress is coming out here. So yeah, from here you can see straight up the church, into the church. So that's that mausoleum, which I said they're gonna have to move. Where all those new houses are, that was the Stanmore Park Estate. So that's another country estate in Stanmore. It's not the one we're going to visit today. I'm going to head now out onto the main road and continue on up to Stanmore Priory, where we're going to go and look for these, this very friendly herd of deer. And we'll have a look at the park as well. So let's go out to the road and go and find uh, Bentley Priory. I'm now about three quarters of a mile away from the station quarter of a mile away from the two churches in a residential area and um, what we're going to do well we're going to leave the residential area and we shall head out into the Bentley Priory open space thank you and here we are this is the Bentley Priory open space so it's signpost to the London Loop the Belmont Trail I think that might be the old railway from um, Harren Wilson to Stanmore so that's definitely a video for another day there's quite a lot of walks you can do so what we're going to do the deer are up there we're going to go around here, around the Summerhouse Lake and back down. That's my plan for today. So if you're ever coming here and you just want to quickly go up and see the deer, if you follow the path on up there, that will take you a quick way to the deer park. But right now we have some other animals coming up, not deer. But look at this, there's a cow. I'm not no expert on cows or deer for that matter. But here we have a cow happily eating grass beside the path. Quite a few of them actually, a few of them over there. So, as I said, that's the quick way to the deer, but what I'm going to do, because I never seem to go the straightforward way, I'm going to head across the field over there, I'm going to go and find the Summerhouse Lake. So here we are now in the woods of the Bentley Priory Estate, and here is this unnamed stream. Now what we're going to do, we're going to follow this stream up into the estate because up here is the Summer House Lake and um, Summer House Lake takes its name from the gazebo where um, Queen Adelaide used to sit. She was the widow of King William IV so yeah, it's a bit um, slipping. Um, yeah so that's the stream. Go follow it up that way through the trees 
find Summer House Lake. I've now come out of the woods. I've been following the stream, which has taken on more of a, like a water shoot sort of. It's like a water shoot, I think. It's had a bit more water in. You feel like on a really hot day, you could put your swimming shorts on and slide all the way off down there. But it's certainly too cold for that today. So up here will be the lake that we've been looking for. Now, if you want to come a more sensible way, we'd have to jump across uh, culverts like that. It appears there's a path just up there. So that's like the more sensible way to come. I only came this way because I like water and I like following rivers, as you may have seen from some of my other videos. So I just wanted to follow the stream. But yeah, I kind of, if I had a piece of paper on me, I'd make a paper boat right now and put it in and just let it sail off down there. But anyway, I haven't, so something to do for another day. Comes out that culvert there, and here is the lake. So this is the summer house pool. So my plan now is to follow the path on around the edge of the lake, and then we'll come up to the top. We should see the stately home of Bentley Priory. Then we'll go down and find the deer, which we've come here to find. As I make my way around the edge of the pond or the lake, I'm on a wall. Ever since I was a child, I have always liked walking on walls. I don't know why, I think it's a bit like rivers and railways. I like things that go to places. So if I'm just following the wall, it's kind of gets lower and lower and lower to the point it's not a wall anymore. And then from a wall to something very different and impressive, in front of us here is a huge oak tree. This is the master oak said to be the oldest tree in Middlesex. Of course, the county of Middlesex is mainly absorbed into Greater London. Some parts have gone into Buckinghamshire and Surrey, but this is the oldest tree in Middlesex. When Henry VIII was king, it was probably a tiny acorn, and it's still alive. It's amazing to think that, you know, this plant was alive when Henry VIII was king. But I'm gonna now continue round through this gate, up round the pond. Just one thing I will say, it's pretty muddy if you come here, so like I am, um, might be best to wear wellies if you're going to come in the winter. Although if you want to go just to see the deer, that path is tarmac all the way, so you'll be fine there. But if you're going to come round here, just be wary, it is muddy. And there is the old tree in Middlesex. So I'm now at the top of the summer house pool. It's no longer a lake, it continues on. You can see a stream here flowing into the lake. There's another one just over there, so uh, yeah, hop across. So we'll leave the lake behind. I'm going to follow the path now up there, and we will continue to find the deer. So I will point out, we are still in Greater London, as rural as it feels. This is Greater London. It's um, about probably a mile that way to the Hertfordshire border. It feels one of the most rural places I've been in Greater London. It's, it's really nice up here, just as I said, can be muddy. But we've seen lots of mud, very rural place in London. We've seen the oldest uh, oak tree in Middlesex, or oldest tree in Middlesex. Let's go and now find the friendliest herd of deer in London. So having left the London Loop, we're now just going to follow this path down to Stanmore. But it's down this path where the most exciting part and the whole purpose of coming here today to make this video is after this fence here, the deer enclosure begins. So you never quite know where you're going to see them, but they are, as I said, very friendly, hence the title of the video. So you normally see them. Um, so let's hope we do. Right, well, this is the deer park. Hmm, this isn't looking, there's none here. They, they, they're probably all down the other end. We'll keep walking. I'm sure we will see them. When I came here a couple of weeks ago, there was like one or two here. And as you went down the hill, you kept seeing more and more. So this path will take you back to Stanmore. Um, it's the path I pointed out earlier in the video. I said, see that path going up there? That's the quick way to see the deer. So we're heading back down there. But yeah, this is currently a deer park. It seems to have more squirrels in it. So, um, but you know, I'm, I'm fairly confident we're gonna see the deer. We've just got to keep walking. It's not a particularly huge enclosure. Uh, it's got, um, I don't know, it's, it's very difficult to count deer when you're, um, how, how many there are, because they can move around. But there's a, there's a herd of fallow deer anyway. So I'm, no doubt we'll see them, but I'm normally right at the fence. But I'm, I'm not gonna give up yet, because I'm pretty sure 
they're here, they're hiding somewhere, perhaps they know I'm coming along with a camera, but when I was up here the other day, they were coming up for the camera, they, you know, I was taking pictures of them, and they, they were just so friendly. Ah, oh, now, whether the camera's going to pick it out, I can see a herd down the bottom of the hill, so we, we will see the deer, definitely. Let's just see what we can see. Okay, as we look ahead now, I can see a few people standing by the fence, so that's probably a fairly good indication that the deer must be about somewhere um because you know the funny thing with these deer is you stand at the fence and they do tend to come up to you they probably hope you're going to feed them um so you know sometimes when you go into deer parks you'll see the deer in the distance it's fairly rare apart from perhaps at a zoo to really get up this close with the deer but we're going to do that that is the plan i'm sure we'll find some very soon well when we get to down here as I said, the path continues to stand more. There's another path that goes up that side of the deer park, so I'm fairly sure that we shall see some fairly soon. They've got to be, they all seem to be down this bottom corner. Whether you can see just over there, there is like a herd of them. Um, but as for the deer themselves, I'm not too sure if there's going to be any. Oh, here we are, there's one here right by the fence. Um, let's have a look, see if they'll be as friendly as they were the other day. Here we go. Hello. I'm put, making a video of you on YouTube. So here we are, that's what I mean about these very friendly deer. There's another one just down here. Hello. I haven't got any food for you, I'm sorry, but you're being put on YouTube. No, not interested. There's another one here. There was a stag about, um, I could see some when I was here the other day. Hello. See what I mean, they're so cute and friendly. Very... I think that dog over there frightened them. Oh, there's a few more of them here. I'll put the camera over the fence. You can see them. They're just all staring at me. It seems um, they're obviously used to people. They don't seem to be so used to people talking to a camera and putting them on YouTube. Let's go past these. Funny, it's like a staring competition between that dog and some of the other deer. Hello, dear. It's like, I don't know, they're, act, they're pretending to be stuffed here. They're just all standing there so still. Look, there's a stag down here. There we are. There's a stag. Hello. Hello, mate. You don't want to be on my video. Look at that. It's great to see. There's a few more female deer as well. So, um, this I think it's really nice that you can come here and, like I said, get this to get this close to a stag, to have me, you know, sat here next to a stag and he's, you know, quite happy. Okay, there is a fence between us, which may be a good thing, but, you know, they're very calm. They're not really aggressive animals at all. There's a few, um, oh, you're very friendly, aren't you? Hello. See how close, hello. Yeah, so that's why I think this, these, that's why I call these the friendliest deer herd in London. Of course there are other deer herds in London. Richmond's Park is quite well known for it. I've never actually been there but I should go there in the future. There are deer at Greenwich in the park there but they're not as friendly as these ones and no doubt there's various other deer parks in Greater London and of course once you get out around the rest of the country there's deer parks everywhere. Various National Trust properties have deer parks but this one here although it's very rural we are actually in Greater London and then they were the friendlier deer over there. Here are the not so friendly deer. If you have a look, just here, they're all just happily, you know, chilling on a nice winter's day. There's like a little brook here, which must come for a spring, and it flows off down there. So what I'm gonna do, um, I think here's a good place to end this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. As I said, if you want to come visit them, you can come by train. It's fairly easy to get to, as we saw today, although I went the long way. There's also a car park, um, if you just follow the path out there, there is a car park, um, it's called Woodhall Lane. If it's, um, there's a car park there so you can walk to them. So from the deer at, um, and there's that stag, we're finished with him. From the deer at Bentley Priory, thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. Goodbye.